I recently used a Canva AI feature to make a photo work that previously I would have completely scrapped before using it on LinkedIn. If you are using LinkedIn marketing for your business, this tutorial is for you and I would encourage you to stick with me until the end. Without further ado, let's hop in. Hi, my name is LaShonda Brown and I am a Canva verified expert. And I use this YouTube channel as an opportunity to educate service providers about how to get the most out of their Canva subscriptions. If you are still rocking a free account, I want to offer you a free 45 day trial of Canva Pro. You can access this by using my exclusive affiliate link at lashondabrown.com slash Canva 45. So we're gonna hop over to my Canva account and I'm going to show you how to locate this photo editing AI tool in Canva so that you can start altering your photos today. So I got a hoodie from the Groove Merch Shop and I had a friend just, you know, throw that in a photo shoot when I did a brand shoot a few months ago. And so I love her, but she always shoots in vertical mode. So when it comes to leveraging her photos as a banner background, or as a newsletter header, typically I find myself in a position where it just doesn't work. But Canva has a feature that's going to fix that problem. So I'm gonna head over to my t-shirt photo folder. If you have not created folders in your Canva account to kind of organize your uploads, I would encourage you to do that now because it saves so much time. So if I go to the Groove folder, I have 13 images to choose from, but they're all vertical. So typically I would not be able to use these, but here is what you can do. So if I wanted to use this photo as a LinkedIn newsletter banner, which is horizontal, this is what I would recommend doing. So I'm gonna stretch this photo to the top and bottom of a very simple presentation template in Canva. Then I'm going to go to edit photo while the photo is selected. And in the top right hand corner, you're going to see a little ladybug above the text magic expand. Now I'm gonna tell you this right now before you go click on this link. It's AI powered, so there might be some weirdness that shows up, but typically there is at least one usable image that shows up when you use this tool. So sometimes you get melted people and it is what it is. So you click on magic expand and you have some options. The default is going to be free form. This is the setting that I have found to be the most successful. Okay, so you have that presentation template and I want you to click on whole page. Now whole page is going to go from selecting that photo to selecting the whole presentation template. Then we're going to click on magic expand. There is a disclaimer that images with faces, hands, or transparent backgrounds may not work well when expanding. But again, I have found that when you put a vertical image on a presentation template, it's less chaotic. So let's click on Magic Expand. It's going to give us four different options to choose from as part of Canvas Magic Studio. Magic simply means that it is powered by AI. Bliss. Sometimes AI gets it wrong and that's why humans are still important. Um, so we have three options with some people in it. I don't know who these people are. Um, okay. All right. But we got one and one is all we need. Let's be honest here, people. The further you get to the edges of this image, the more AI it starts looking, right? What I really just needed was the couch expanded enough to work as a LinkedIn header. So I'm gonna head on over to my LinkedIn profile. If you didn't know, I have a LinkedIn newsletter called Videos to Serve. It's where I teach service providers how to leverage tech and YouTube to work less and live more. So for my own sake, I make it super convenient to get there. It is in the feature section of my LinkedIn profile. So I was able to pull those horizontal images because I shot them that way with the intention of them being able to be cropped vertically as a square or as a presentation in a horizontal shape. However, 
A lot of the photos that I have from other photographers typically default to vertical because people are thinking Instagram stories, they're thinking Instagram posts. And so vertical is just the default. They just turn their camera this way and that's, it is what it is. All right, so if I go to create new edition, you can see here, we recommend uploading or dragging in an image that is 1920 by 1080 pixels, okay? Now let's go back over to that presentation template and I'm gonna click on resize and magic switch. Now, the reality is the presentation template is 1920 by 1080. Bada boom, bada bang. So it's already the right size for a LinkedIn header. However, we don't want all this AI goodness on the fringes, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that to the middle and then we are going to crop it. So we're gonna head over to crop and we're gonna freeform and we're gonna say, okay, where does it stop looking natural? <laughs> when are the pillows melting? You know, what's happening here? Okay, so we're just gonna bring it in and we're gonna say, okay, when we get to that pillow, all right, that's really these little shelves on the side. Those are looking how they're looking, right? So we're gonna crop those out. And even this pillow is having a moment that I'm not loving. Okay, and I'm gonna put my body in the middle of it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, you know, as I drag this again back out to the fringes, I'm gonna put that in the top left. Really, the one thing that is kind of bothering me is this here pillow. So maybe what I'll do is just keep dragging it and be like, oh, well, you know, you just don't make the cut. You know, I've got room up top. And now I've gone from a vertical image that would not have worked to a horizontal image and I have made that couch expand. So I'm just going to name this couch groove that I'm going to share. I'm going to download it. What I want is a PNG. And you can see here again, 1920 by 1080. We don't need that second page because I just did that to show you how that was working. So we're gonna leave one selected and click on download. And if I were to go back to LinkedIn, and here's another one, I actually did one here. So I use the same tool and it was just having a better day at camp. You know, you might run it once, twice, maybe even three times and you'll get different results. Um, so this particular image again was created using Magic Expand. I really like the blue pillows that it added to the table and I really like how it expanded the couch. But if I didn't want to use that one, I could use the one that we literally just made. And that's a little bit tighter shot on me because I zoomed in, but even still it works perfectly in that spot. If you enjoyed learning about Canva Magic Expand, I would encourage you to check out the video I made about Canva Magic Media, where you can use a text prompt to create a video that you can utilize in a presentation or on social media. As always, feel free to use my link, lashondabrown.com slash Canva45 to get access to a free 45-day trial of Canva Pro. And until next time, ta-ta for now.